From an early drag age, I remember being in awe of the queens who stepped on stage in something custom. The way it moved and sparkled never looked like any of the $1 dresses I was wearing from Deb at the time, and I decided to be one of those queens. It took me about three months of drag tips to save up for my first sewing machine in classes at Joanne's. <laughs> and after ruining several yards of fabric, I put together my first costume for the stage. And baby, it was a wreck. <laughs> The seams were uneven, there were no rhinestones, and there was something diaper-like about the crotch that I just couldn't figure out. But when the spotlight hit me, I never felt more gorgeous. And from that performance on, I knew that I could never look back. There's something magical about knowing that what you're wearing is a result of your own hard work, skill, and time. And I always compare garment production to making a salsa. You can get some fantastic salsa from a market. But there's nothing more delicious than reaping what you sow.